External drives help you manage your files, either removing unneeded documents from your main drive or backing up extra important files. Unfortunately, if you've come across a USB drive with write protection enabled, that can make it difficult to access and modify files on the device. If you need to remove write protection for one reason or another, here's what you can do. Before diving into more complex solutions, first check if your USB drive has a physical write protection switch. Some drives come with a physical switch, and it could have been toggled on by mistake. If the switch you found doesn't work or you don't find a switch at all, plug your USB drive into your computer to begin. If you're on Windows 10 and you're okay with some light terminal work, you can try using disk part. Just tap on your Windows key and your keyboard, type disk part, then click on Run as Administrator. Click Yes on anything that pops up here, and a terminal window will appear, running your command. From here, type List Disk and hit Enter to show a list of connected disks on your system. You'll be able to tell your USB stick by looking at the Size column. For ease of identification, it's best to unplug or disconnect any drives or additional USB sticks with a similar capacity. Once you've identified your USB drive on this list, note the disk number and type Select Disk followed by that number. Then hit enter to select your disk. After that, just type attributes disk clear read only and hit enter. Once your terminal tells you that it's been successfully cleared, feel free to exit out of command prompt. Then unplug and reinsert your USB. If the process was successful, you can copy files on and off the drive. If you're on Mac OS, the process is a bit simpler, but more uncertain. On your Mac, use Launcher or Spotlight Search to open Disk Utility and select your flash drive on the left of the window. From here, just click on First Aid and try following through the troubleshooting guide. macOS will have you try a few prompts to help with your issue. Unfortunately, if that doesn't work, you'll need to look for a third-party app or find someone who has a Windows 10 computer. If you like this guide, make sure you subscribe for all sorts of videos covering Windows 10 and other technology. And don't forget to check out one of these videos we think you might enjoy. Thank you.